Okay, jetzt sitze ich hier mit Pavo Löttjenen von Apokalyptika und ich werde ihn fragen, wie er es denn mit dem Equipment hält. Pavo, are you interested in uh, equipment at all or does it only matter to you that the sound is good at the concert? Uh, you know, mm, of course it's, it's a part of the music making and it's an instrument and, uh, you know, equipment, it's... It's uh, like a coloring, coloring our music, and it's so it's really important part of the m music making. Yeah. So, okay, it's it's important, and we are interested of that. And actually, as because we are cello players, uh, this is really pioneer work for us, because no one has done it with the with the cellos so so much. And uh, during these years, we have been playing with Apocalyptica since '95. We have tried to develop year by year all the systems and the knowledge of different kind of equipments, and then so it's we have learned a lot of things during these years. Did you amplify your instruments from the beginning on, or was there a point when the venues got so big that you realized that you you had to amplify them? Uh, Originally we played acoustically, but that was b before the first album. But when then we we got some like a party, student parties, and then we already took some kind of microphones with us and make it like a high volume or higher volume. That time it was really like a, just a little bit higher, and uh, and then then came the distortion pedals. And that was all, maybe the one of the original reasons why we started Apocalyptica. To combine rock elements, distortion pedals for classical instruments. And which microphones do you use now? Uh, we have a quite complicated system. Um, for example, I have in my cello, there's pickups. Like um, Schertler um, electrostatic microphone, which is taking the ch sound of chamber of cello, and then there's a um, Barkusberry pickup, piazza pickup in the bridge, and um, we are combining those two signals for uh, we have like a custom made uh, mixing mixer and preamp, and um, then. We are using also DPA microphones for making like a more acoustic sound. And so those three microphones is the co and the combination of those three all is the, the basic setup. Then we have a, like a quite complicated system. I should show it you, to you. Um, we share the signal for two different lines. One line is going to guitar amps. But we are not using the cabinets, we are using the Palmer um, uh, cabinet simulators and the amps are PV amps. And uh, then the, an, another signal line goes to the line 6 or Vox Tone Labs, so like um, modelers and there is coming some effects, delays and so on. And then we have also G Lab MIDI controller and looper and so we are basically controlling all the equipments with a, with a, with the midi midi commands and so on the stage we don't have too much pedals so everything is on the side of the stage in the racks and which is compact and easier mm -hmm. easier to travel and then there's a lot of different kind of so, so there's a sound palette where it's like we have Uh, I have like a two different kind of distortions and uh, like a Pog, um, Pog Octaver synthesizer and and, and then uh, some delays and uh, there's so many, some spacey kind of things and you know, like a guitar players are doing, basically the same stuff. And did you ever think about using electric cellos? Yeah, we've tried that, but it's, you know, it's not, not, it's for gays. Okay. Yeah, we, we prefer real ones. You know, <laughs> uh, 
I got to tell what's the difference between the normal cello and the electric cello. Because in normal cello there is a, like a, the body and the chamber. Uh, it gives like a response and it's, it's vibrating and you really can feel it be under your... Because we are not picking up like a pizzicato. We are playing it all the time with a bow. So you have really sensitive feeling for the tone you are playing. So you can feel it. How, how is the resistance? In a real cello, the resistance, you really feel the grip and the resonation even with your bow. Mm-hmm. If that's an electric cello, that's a different feeling. It's more weaker and... Uh, uh, so real cellos are more powerful in that use. Of course, it's more complicated in the final end because then there's huge PA systems and then the, the body starts to resonate and, uh, and uh, f- it, it could h- make some, some feedbacks or uh, whatever. But then we just got to fine tune every, so every level that it's really ver- very adjusted and uh, we have a really good crew. And they are really doing like you. You were inter- um, you, have, you had an interview with Michael. Uh, he's a real a super engineer and really high professional. So it's great to work with those guys. Doesn't it mean that if you use a, a real cello, that it's some kind of natural monitoring? No, no. We are using in-air monitors and a normal rock show. It's so loud that you can't hear the acoustic cello anymore. So we have the in-air system. Except there's a couple of songs we are playing really like acoustic kind of performance with the DPA microphones. If the, the concert hall is quiet or the audience is quiet, then we can take off the in-air system. And then we can play acoustically. So then we can hear the real acoustic sound. Pavo, I wish you a nice concert and thanks for your time. Event Elevator aus dem Zenit in München, wo in wenigen Stunden Apokalyptika über die Bühne fegen werden.